61A lecture number 26, announcements. You can revise your maps project to earn back any composition points that you lost. We've released composition scores and we will accept revisions until next Friday. To revise, go find your old project, edit it, and then run OK with the revise option. This weekend we'll have a gorilla section, Saturday starting at noon in the Soda Hall Labs. Homework 7 is due tomorrow. It includes an anonymous mid-semester survey. As I mentioned last time, we'll have a 61A project fair on November 30th. You should start thinking about what you'd like to show off in your project fair now. If you sign up for the project fair, you'll also be eligible to attend some extra workshops that focus on applying 61A material in practical ways. I think the student group called Codebase is going to run a tutorial session about how to build web applications next week for any of you who decide you want to build some web-based program. In general, if you decide to participate in the project fair, then the course staff will try to help you with your project in any way that we can. And finally, I've added a link to the nav bar of the site labeled Scheme, which opens up the web-based interpreter. It behaves the same way as the Scheme interpreter for your homework and lab, but it runs in a browser. And it has some fancy features, like if you turn on Auto Draw, and then you build a list containing one, two, and the cons of three and four and five, it will show you the structure that you've constructed in addition to the standard way that Scheme would print it out. So if you want to get some practice building the linked list structures that are fundamental to Scheme, then turning on AutoDraw and trying stuff out in the web-based Scheme interpreter is a good way to do it.